really look at this move for the Big 12. It does make a lot of sense, and it does fit the mold of what they're what they've been doing. What's up, everybody? It's Trey Smith with College Game Time. Back at you with another College Game Time YouTube video. Listen, we are going to continue this discussion on realignment. It keeps getting more juicy. It is realignment season. We've been talking about it all week on this channel. But before I get into it today, the breaking news that just dropped within an hour of me making this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment at the end. And if you're feeling extra generous, leave me a super thanks. If you'd, love to, if you'd like to support what we're building here at College Game Time, your generosity is very much appreciated. Okay, Pete Thamel of ESPN. Let me pull up this article just broke some news that this week San Diego State, a team that has been highly linked to the Pac-12 conference, kind of gave their notice to the Mountain West conference they were leaving and kind of didn't. Let's see what the report says. So San Diego State gave Mountain West written notice this week that the school intends to resign from the Mountain West conference. In the letter, it asked the Mountain West for a one month extension given unforeseen delays involving their collegiate athletic conferences beyond our control. As of now, there does not appear to be an invitation to the San Diego to San Diego state from a power five conference. Talked about this earlier this week, talking about the Jerry Jones quote deadlines, make deals the June 30th deadline for San Diego state, their exit fee doubles. If they want to join another conference in 2024, which is what they're looking to do. They want to go power five in 2024. As of right now, they have until June 30th to make that decision without their exit fee essentially doubling. So how does the Mountain West Conference respond, you say? Well, the Mountain West responded to San Diego State and informed the school in a June 14th letter that the conference had accepted their letter of resignation and that the consequences of withdrawing had begun. What are those consequences? San Diego State's president is going to lose his board seat in the Mountain West Conference and their financial obligations are going to be withheld. So the next day, San Diego State quickly prompts it says this quickly prompted another exchange from San Diego State clarifying that the June 13th letter was not an official resignation, just a request for a month extension. It also asked that no payouts be withheld. So in other words, hey, hey, we're not like putting in our two week notice. We're just seeing like if we decide to put in our two week notice, can we have an extension of when we would need to put in that two week notice? And if we decide to put in that two week notice, are we really going to stop getting paid everything? Like, are we really not going to be working here anymore? Think about all the money San Diego State generated for the conference in March with their run to the national championship in March Madness. I mean, they're going, OK, let's let's just get a feel here for for what the, the full impact of us leaving this conference will be. Now, it brings up an interesting discussion though, because they had to know, San Diego State that is, had to know that this was a risk by sort of jumping the gun early or putting the cart before the horse by making this request notification to the Mountain West Conference without having an official offer from a Power Five conference on the table. So here's what this tells me. And these are just my quick knee jerk reactions without putting a lot of thought into it. The first thing is this, that I'm implying from this move is that the PAC 12 is not close to getting a media deal done. <laughs> We've talked about that here on this channel. That's one of the top stories going around right now in realignment in college football is that one of the dominoes waiting to fall is PAC 12's media deal. Uh, we know that the Big 12 is interested in Colorado, Arizona, allegedly have given them both a July 1st deadline. But the fact that San Diego State has made, made this move, that's what it is, they made a move, they put it out there officially to the Mountain West Conference, even though they clarify we're not resigning, we're just trying to get some information about if we do resign and can we have an extension. They wouldn't ask for an extension if they felt like the Pac-12 was like, in a, any day now mode of closing their television deal. They've also got to look out for themselves, right? They don't want to get, they don't want to be hamstrung by this one conference because I also think that the big 12 is at play here. So the big 12 has been linked to San Diego state, not 
as tightly as the Pac-12. But if you really look at this move for the Big 12, it does make a lot of sense. And it does fit the mold of what they're what they've been doing since OU and Texas announced their jumping ship to the SEC, which has been to load up on basketball schools. Recently, there's, they've already got Houston coming in. Recently, uh, they've been linked to Arizona and UConn as potential additions to the conference. Allegedly, Arizona has a July 1 deadline. And if you look at San Diego State, I mean, that's a, that's a really good basketball program that's coming off an excellent season. I mean, they've had more than just one excellent season, but I mean, particularly this year, making the run to the Final Four, playing in the National Championship game, that fits the mold of the Big 12 of what they're trying to do since losing their two football blue bloods. But think of it this way, too. It also gives the Big 12 a presence in the Pac-12's backyard. And if the Big 12 is able to come in and swoop San Diego State, that would mean that the only Power 5 conferences that have a presence in the Pac-12's biggest media market, which is Southern California, would be the Big Ten and the Big 12, starting in 2024. So I don't know if San Diego State is is thinking that maybe doing this uh, could create a little more demand for them as a as a program. You know, think about like the girl who's taken, and 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 everyone's got a crush on her, but you know she's taken, so we can't really have her. Well, she breaks up with her boyfriend. She's back on the market. That can go one of two ways. One side is is it creates a massive competition of everybody trying to battle and win her heart. And the demand for her increases. The other side of that is, oh, she's single now? Mm, I'm not as interested in her as I was when she was taken. Because a lot of times people want what they can't have. So I don't know if that's what San Diego State is trying to do subliminally is send a me- or maybe not so subliminally is send a message to these Power 5 conferences they've been linked to, the Pac-12 and the Big 12, and say, hey, we're about to just cut ties and be, be a free agent, essentially. Let's make something happen. Who's going to be first to the, to, to the table? Now, what the Big 12 has to take into consideration is the fact that adding a school like San Diego State, they would not get the same... Uh, financial compensation from ESPN and 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 the other uh, Fox, I believe, is who it is, um, um, that they would get, say, if they added Colorado or Arizona. And I talked about that earlier this week as well. That's been reported as well as far as, as they're going to get more leniency with compensation when they add another Power 5 school on that media deal. The, the, the both, both media companies, entities, will absorb them as if they were a part, you know, pay the same payout um, as if they were a part of the original deal. Whereas if they add a G5 team, that's, that's going to cut into the revenue share, I, I believe. So that's something that has to be taken into consideration. But I, I mean, it, it's on now. And I'm telling you right now, like I said a few days ago, the Pac-12 has got to get a media deal done. And I know right now they probably feel a little handcuffed because they got these cash strapped uh, uh, non-streaming outlets and, and, and their, their only best bet right now to get money is to go streaming, even though there's a lot of, there's a lot of negatives that come along with that. But to me, as I said a couple of days ago, Apple TV might be the move with some supplementary, um, with a supplementary deal with ESPN. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think San Diego State is doing? Were they just genuinely trying to get an extension and it, it's kind of going sideways with the way the Mountain West is, is reacting to it? Uh, will the Pac-12 get a media deal done? Will the Big 12 swoop in, and get Sa- swoop in and get San Diego State? Y'all let me know your thoughts. Until next time, it's Trey Smith with College Game Time.